we end up having a murder, uh, we usually try to uh, get involved with that or some kind of shooting. New at 10, an advanced unit with Midland Police is staying incredibly busy this year, keeping guns off of the street. New numbers from the city show a shocking jump in firearm thefts. Good evening, I'm Carson Bush Jost. And I'm Katie Orth. ABC's Big Two's Rob Took spoke with the directed patrol team about how they're tackling everything from guns to gangs. There is a very unique team stationed here on the corners of Lorraine and Louisiana here at Midland Police Headquarters. And they're dealing with a wide array of crimes, many of them violent. That's pretty much our, our bread and butter. Sergeant Jason Clear is breaking down how his unit works in Midland. We are at the beck and call of the entire department if they need assistance with something. So recently work has been busier than before. As of recently I think we've had more, more issues with them. He's talking about gangs and there are two big reasons for the spike. The first, COVID-19. Yeah, stir crazy at the, at the house so they start moving and going out and doing stuff maybe they're not supposed to be doing. And the list of crimes is long. Burglaries, uh, robberies, um, gun violence, uh, shootings, assaults, ag assaults. But there's another reason why directed patrol team and all 20 gangs in and around Midland are staying busy too. Burglars got out and really hit the town. Um, people leaving guns in their cars and stuff like that. More guns are in the streets. 370 of them out there are stolen. That's a 164 percent increase in thefts. We, we try to stay ahead of it and just proactively uh, get out there and uh, get to work. And guns on the street aren't making things easy. And on top of that, we know that uh, there's cartel here. Sergeant Claire says they're working to stop it, and they're spending time with the younger crowd. We tell them, I mean, you really want this? Is this something that you really want to get into? Now the department has 31 officer positions to fill. And the recruitment sergeant tells me over the weekend they had 45 people apply. In Midland, Rob Took, ABC Big Two News.